Okay, now we're going to use the array or square model to model how to add fractions. Now, unlike multiplication and division, you probably will want to start students adding fractions with concrete or tangible objects. Okay, this is the pictorial part of the, the concept that you're teaching. Okay, this would, would follow after they have touched concrete objects. Remember, the process that we use is concrete, pictorial, to the abstract. Well, this is the P, and we're leading them to the A. Okay, so right now I've shaded three-fourths and two-thirds. Well, we can't really add these fractions because we're talking about different size pieces. So in order to add these fractions, we have to make them the same size so we can combine them. So what I've done is I'm redrawing my model again. And we're going to discuss how to create common denominators. Well, we look to the denominators because we're talking about fourths and thirds. So you take the fourths and you're going to divide them into two-thirds. Not two-thirds, excuse me, thirds in general. And then we're going to take the thirds and we're going to divide them into fourths. If you notice, I started off with vertical shading and horizontal shading. Okay, so now let's talk about what these new fractional values are. They're equivalent fractions. This one is 9 out of 12, which is also equivalent to 3 fourths. And we can see by using the same size whole that these are equivalent. If we look over here, we can now see that the 2 thirds has become not 8 out of 3, but 8 out of 12. because there would be 12 in the whole model. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to physically combine our pieces, because that's what addition is, to see what we end up with. Well, I can take and fill these three blank squares, which are 12s, with three from over here at the two-thirds that has now become eight twelfths. Well, I'm going to simply put them in there and I'm going to shade them to show that I've combined them. And I'm just going to put a check over them to identify that they've been moved. So I'm going to number one, two, three, because that's our one, two, three from over here. So now I have one hole and one, two, three, four, five twelfths left. Or you could, students might say that I have twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 twelfths left. If students do this, I would leave that and take that as a correct answer because it is, and then wait after they have explored this model several times to change it into a mixed number.